Hey everyone, this is Tom from Chasiki and we are broadcasting live from our tea house here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. And as everyone right now, we are affected by the COVID-19 outbreak and I take this opportunity to go back live on my YouTube channel. It's been a long time and I'm really pumped to be back to educate a little bit about matcha and uh, what we're doing here in our tea house. Today I would like to share a recipe of ours. It's a drink that we serve here in our tea house in Chiang Mai and it has become one of the most favorite drinks of our customers. Um, we call it coma. It has nothing to do with a coma but I'm pretty sure if you would be in a coma and you drink this you will awake from any kind of coma. But coma stands for coffee and matcha and what we're doing is we use uh, a premium coffee from Chiang Mai. It's a local roastery called Di Bosco and uh, it's a classical roast. I already prepared this. Um, we are using about 60, 50 to 60 ml of uh, double shot espresso for this drink, right? Um, and I'm going to do a vegan version. We have a lot of experts living here in Chiang Mai um, or people that uh, have a um, lactose intolerance so you, they cannot drink milk and that's why I'm using a pistachio milk from um, a local brand here in Thailand. Actually, it's an international brand. It's one of the best pistachio milks that I've had so far. And um, what else we need? We need water. The water will be used for the matcha base that I'm going to use for this matcha, uh, for this coma. And of course, we use our ceremony grade matcha from Shogyo Ken. Uh, in this case, it's a Izumi matcha. Um, it's a ceremonial grade, very, very nice, and it suits perfectly to this drink. Okay, so I'm gonna get started. Uh, first of all, um, we need our matcha base. And because I try to keep it a little bit healthy, I'm going to use the one without sugar. So we make this base ourselves. It's also available in our online shop, so if you're interested in that, you can check that out on our website. Um, we use ceremony grade for this matcha base and um, some other ingredients which are secret. I cannot talk about that, but as I said, if you would like to have that matcha base for at home, you can get this on our uh, online shop. All right, so first of all, we need the matcha base. Okay. Um, Okay, almost there. On top, I'm going to give a little bit of our ceremonial grade matcha. So that's about two grams. I forgot to measure it, but usually we take two grams for this, for this recipe. Um, and now I put it through the sieve to have a very fine matcha powder. So to avoid lumps, you don't want to have that in your drink. So now you can see we have a very fine powder. We have the matcha base with a ceremonial grade and on top we put more ceremonial grade. So this will definitely give you a nice kick of energy. Now I'm adding the water and give it a nice whisk. Uh, be careful that you don't have all the matcha all, all over the place. And in the beginning you just want to make slow movements and then you can become a little bit faster and whisk it all up so that you have a nice and smooth consistency in your matcha latte base. Okay, now I'm going to check if the matcha base is ready. And um, yeah, it looks pretty, pretty good like this. All right, okay, it's nice and smooth, no lumps, perfect. The next step that I'm going to do is I add a little bit of um, condensed milk, sweetened condensed milk into the double shot of espresso. Um, and because I want to have it dairy free, I'm using a sweetened coconut condensed milk. Just a little bit, 
that's more than enough. Keep in mind that our matcha latte base, this one does not have sugar, but we also have one with sugar, but I want to keep it as healthy as possible. So this one hasn't, uh, doesn't have any sugar, but to give it a little bit of slightly sweetness, I use the condensed milk. Um, the next step is, I need to give this a whisk so that the condensed milk is dissolved in the two double shots of espresso. Oops. Yummy, yummy. And you might wonder why we are selling coffee in a tea house. Well, um, I tried this recipe a little while ago and it was so good that I decided to offer it in our tea house. And again, our customer love it. So first things first, after I added some water, uh, some ice into the, the glass, I'm adding the coffee with the coconut milk base. All right. Then on top, I'm adding the pistachio milk. And I want to pour it slowly so that you have a little bit of layer in the glass. And now on top, I'm adding the matcha. It looks very delicious already. And to make sure that I have all the matcha in the glass and not just in the chawan, I add a little bit more of the milk and whisk it up one more time. Give it a nice whisk, M and W shaped, so you have a nice foam on top. Same as you would do with your regular usucha. And then you add this on top. There we go. And we're done. All right. So this is our Koma Latte. And you can see very nice layers. You have the coffee, you have the milk, and you have the matcha takeover. It's already pouring down. And now I'm adding the straw and give another nice whisk so that you have the flavor all over the place. Or what else you can do in the beginning, you can um, drink and pull the straw up so you have different layers of flavor in your mouth. Mm super delicious and um, this is something if you drink it in the morning oh man this will give you energy all day long so you have the caffeine kick from the espresso additionally you have the matcha and um, we use quite a lot for our matcha latte base so this is definitely a kickstart into the day and if you would like to try this at home go ahead if you don't have an espresso machine you can use um, drip coffee um, as well this is not a problem at all so you can use any kind of coffee but make sure that you use a light roast or medium roast no dark roast because the dark roast would be too bitter and that doesn't match with the flavor of the matcha right mm, super delicious so you have the slight coffee flavor and in the aftertaste you have that nice vegetal green flavor from the matcha it's perfect for everyone who loves their coffee and uh, would like to mix that with another um, favorite like matcha. And especially for people at home that try to shift from coffee over to matcha, this is the perfect drink, highly recommendable. And it will definitely give you a nice kick in the morning, um, energy throughout the day. And you do not have that typical drop in energy as you usually would have from your coffee because the matcha will keep the energy level up for a longer period of time and you don't have that rapid peak and rapid drop in energy. So highly, highly recommendable, super delicious. Just to make sure you use a light or medium roast coffee and um, our matcha latte base because we already um, leveled the flavor that it suits perfectly to your coffee. All right, hope you like my recipe. And uh, if you like to see more of this stuff in the future, please send me a comment in the comment box below. And um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumb up. Um, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, neither here or there. 
and hit the, the notification bell so that you will see each and every video that we're going to upload. I'm going to um, do more content in the future again. So um, a weekly video will be uploaded every Sunday from now on. And um, see you next week and stay safe. Bye.